It is one of the most beautiful cities in America, one of the most important cities of the world, and yet, in the storm drains, work crews have to clean out the plastic bottles and fast food wrappers. In the rivers, they have to skim off the floating garbage and the trash. In the streets, they have to sweep up all the litter. And some kids say they don't like it and they don't understand. I see litter everywhere. I walk over litter. I watch people throw litter out of their car. And I don't like it. I think it's very rude because they know that somebody lives there and they don't live there, so why would they do that? Every street has at least one trash can, so throw it away. When I see a lot of littering, I feel hurt and I don't know, like, why the people do it. That's how rodents and stuff get around, roaches, and it makes the city seem just dirty, which it's not because I'm a Washingtonian. I'm proud to just be from D.C. Washington is where you live. So treat Washington is like if it was your house. There was another time in America, a time when there weren't so many plastic bottles and styrofoam cups, so much paper and plastic coming from fast food. But the world has changed. Clearly, our society is a society of convenience. And, you know, 20, 30, 50 years ago, things weren't as disposable. Things were more recyclable than they are now. Now we're in a throwaway society. 30 years ago, there weren't anything such as plastic bottles. And so, uh, that we, and we see that as a lot of the litter. In fact, plastic and paper makes up a huge portion of the mountain of trash we leave behind. And who is responsible for cleaning all of it up? The city. And the city is us. I think it's our responsibility to keep the community clean because if we don't do it, nobody else will. It's our job to keep it clean. The people that live here, it's our job to keep it clean. The sanitation workers, they're supposed to help with it. But ultimately, if we don't care about it, then no one else will.